In this tool, we're going to be looking at how to make sure that certain fields are filled in before the Save button is uh, clicked. In order to do this, we need to create a button. Now, buttons are created using the tool up here, uh, Button, so I click on it, and then I just draw out simply where I want the button to go. So I'll have it here. Most access, um, most versions of access will have this wizard set up by default. Now, because we are going to make a custom button, we want to cancel this wizard, we don't want to use it. So I'm going to cancel that, and I'm going to change the text inside it, and put the word save. And then I'm going to click on it again, and like you do with every single thing in access, you name it, and I'm going to call this um, save btn. BTN is short for button. Now, in order to actually put um, some commands on this or some code, I need to first click on it, and this time I need to go to event. Now, the event tab in Access allows you to um, perform actions based on the user's interaction with the form. So, on click is where the user clicks on the button and then wants something to happen. So, on click, I'm going to click on the uh, triple dots here, and this time I've got a choice. Rather than going straight to Expression Builder, I've got a choice. And I'm going to click on Macro Builder, and I'm going to click on OK. The Macro Builder allows me to add actions um, but onto that button, so it will run in sequence a series of instructions. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and as you can see, I've got a number of options, and these are all the commands I can do. The one I want to use is one called if. Now, what if does is it allows me to run um, instructions only if a certain condition has been met. So, what I'm going to say is if the user has not filled out the right things, I want to print a message out. So, I'm going to click on this little wizard icon here to invoke the expression builder and this is something we've seen before and this time I'm going to use a function which we've not seen before and it's called is null. Now what is null does is it checks to see if something's empty or null. So I want to make sure that they've entered a date of birth. Okay and what this will do is if the date of birth is empty, as in they've not filled it out, is null return yes or true. So, if it is empty, if it is null, I want to add an action, and this action will be a message box. So I'm going to scroll down and find message box, and I want to say you must fill out the date of birth. Okay, I'll have it be. I've got an option of type, so I can give them a warning maybe, or critical, it's your choice, and I can title the message box if I want to, I might call this validation error. So I save that, I click on close, and now let's test it. So I'm going to go to my form view now, I'm going to scroll down so we can see the button, and I'm going to click on save immediately. You see it's come up with the validation error, you must fill out a date of birth, and that's because I've not filled it out. So I'm going to click on it, I'm going to choose the date of birth, doesn't really matter what it is, I'm going to click on save, and notice it doesn't do anything now. The message box is not appearing because obviously I have filled out the date of birth. Now, I can have this, um, actually I need to... Uh, just put a username in for now. Okay, I'm just going to put anything in just for now. And I'm going to go back to design view. I also want to make sure the first name and last name have also been entered. Um, and to do that, I need to go back to my button. So I'm going to click on it again. I need to go to the macro builder. So I'll just click on the triple dots this time. And this time, I want to say, okay, if the date of birth has been filled in, and oh, sorry, if the date of birth has been left blank, also if the, um, the first name has been left blank, as well as the last name has been left blank, I'll display an error. So I'm going to go back to this if statement here. 
I'm going to go back to Expression Builder. So I need to daisy chain these together. So I've already got um, the date of birth being checked. Or if is null the first name. And what this will do is if the date of birth is empty, it's going to be true because you know th this is null will be true. That means the whole thing will be true and I'll display the error message. If the first name is empty, this will be true, so the whole thing will be true again, um, and it will display an error message. So if any of these things I'm daisy chaining together using the OR command, if any of them are empty, then it will display the error message. So I'll put another one on, OR is NULL, and I'll put last name on as well, and then I click on OK. With these all daisy chained together, if press save again, I should, if I go back to form view, if I click on the button, now the date of birth is there, but the first name and last name aren't. If I put a first name in, see it's still giving me the message. If I put a last name in now and press save, you can see it's absolutely fine. Now the last thing I need to do with this is to obviously, if it is okay, do something with it. So, I go back to my macro builder. I'm going to click on if again, and this time I'm going to click on add else. Now what add else does is if all of these are fine, as in they've all got values, this will be false, this if statement will be false, because uh, there is something in date birth, uh, there is something in the uh, first name and the last name, so none of those things will be true, so the whole thing will be false. So I click on add else, and the else is only run if this long condition here is false. So if it is false, I want to display a message, so I know it's working. So I scroll down to message box again, and I'm going to put the message record saved. Now obviously I need to save the record as well, so underneath I click on add new uh, action, and I scroll down to save record. So this is how we link things together. So, if any of these are left empty, this bit code runs, the validation error. If they're all filled in, then I can save it. So I'm going to click on save, close, and come back to it. So I have already got values into it. So if I click on save now, you can see it's now saying record save. And that will save into my table. So if I just close my table down. By the way, if you've got your table open and make changes through a form, the changes won't be there. You can see my changes are now there, and that's exactly what I've written in here.